Welcome to Headline News 24-7. Please click like and subscribe. Study claims transgenders suffering because straight people aren't dating them. Researchers have long contended that transgender and non-binary individuals are at a substantially higher risk of mental illness and suicidal thoughts or actions than the rest of the population. The attempted suicide rate ranges from 29.9 to 50.8% among transgender adolescents, according to a paper released by the American Academy of Pediatrics in 2018, research often cited by even the most ardent LGBT advocacy groups. Now researchers are arguing that these individuals are further suffering because of Americans' unwillingness to date transgender, non-binary, and questioning individuals. According to researchers, Karen L. Blair and Rhea Ashley Hoskin participants in their survey were asked to consider what type of individual would be included in their hypothetical pool of potential dating partners. Participants were given uh, the options of a cisgender woman, a cisgender man, a transgender woman, a transgender man, and a person with a non-binary gender identification and told to choose all that apply. Unsurprisingly, the two Canadian academics found the vast majority of their 958 respondents would not consider dating someone who identifies as a transgender. Recently, my colleague and I asked this question of just under 1,000 participants, and we published our findings in the Journal of Social and Personal Relationships, Blair wrote in a Sunday Psychology Today article laying out the pair's findings. Our results indicated that 87.5 of the participants who were asked this very question only checked off the cisgender options and excluded transgender and non-binary individuals from their hypothetical dating pool, she added. And Blair argues, though the question may seem simple or even foolish, that it is anything but inconsequential. After all, relationships are one of the most important sources of social support. Indeed, our relationships play an important role in our overall mental and physical well-being, and our relationships are a better predictor of how long we'll live than smoking or obesity, she continues. Therefore, if relationships are a better indicator of health, well-being, and life expectancy, the smaller dating pool created by lack of attraction from straight, cisgender people must have profound impacts on transgender, Blair's continued. The remainder of her Psychology Today article did not shy away from the opportunity to not so subtly blaming straight people's lack of attraction to the transgender community for higher rates of suicide and other mental health problems. Progressive as she is, Blair included a disclaimer indicating that the goal of her research was not to shame anyone for their preferences or tell them who to pursue. Everyone does have the freedom to decide whom they date, she said. But just as previous research was done on the acceptance of different races into the American culture and dating pool, Blair argues her research will serve to illuminate the underlying prejudice that leads the straight community to find transgenders unattractive. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.